We have seen a bit of weakening overnight. The gradual, slow weakening trend, which we thought was going to begin relatively soon, did start overnight. And it looks like we do expect that to continue as the hurricane continues its approach toward the main Hawaiian Islands. Douglas is located as of 5 a.m., about 895 miles, 1440 kilometers east southeast of Hilo. And it's moving rather quickly toward the west northwest at 18 miles per hour. The maximum sustained winds have come down just slightly to 120 miles per hour. It is still a Category 3 hurricane on the Saffir Simpson hurricane wind scale. We do expect that Douglas is going to continue to move in the general direction of the main Hawaiian Islands at a relatively brisk pace for the next few days. We'll see a gradual decrease in forward speed as it gets closer to the islands and a slight turn toward the west. What this means is that on our forecast track, we'll see Douglas approaching eastern main Hawaiian Islands late Saturday night into Sunday. We do expect a continued gradual weakening trend today through the weekend. We'll have Douglas remaining though near hurricane strength as it approaches the islands late Saturday night or Sunday. So whether or not Douglas approaches as a strong tropical storm or a lower end hurricane, the impacts are not going to change that much and they could still be potentially destructive in many areas. We are expecting strong winds with Douglas to affect portions of the main Hawaiian islands, possibly as early as late Saturday night or Sunday and continuing for portions of the state through the day on Monday. With this said, we'll likely see the issuance of tropical storm or hurricane watches during the day today. We're also going to have a high High surf and large swells generated by Douglas. These will begin affecting portions of the main Hawaiian islands, those east and southeast facing shores. Swells are likely to cause life-threatening surf. We're talking warning level surf on the east shores and rip current condition also can bring torrential rainfall. We are expecting heavy rainfall with Douglas expected to begin affecting portions of the main Hawaiian islands from late Saturday night, continuing for portions of the state through Monday. We could see total rainfall accumulations of six to 10 inches and isolated maximum totals of 15 inches possible, especially in the elevated terrain. And this type of rainfall, especially if it falls in a short amount of time, can definitely result in life-threatening flash flooding and landslides, as well as rapid water level rises on small streams. We'll be issuing the next complete advisory for Douglas at 11 a.m. We do have your question, uh, Wendy. The latest track looks like a hurricane status near Maui on Sunday afternoon. You don't want to go too deterministic with our track forecast. Understand that the cone still covers all islands at this point. So whether or not Douglas comes closest to the big island or Maui or Oahu, we're still going to see fairly significant and rather widespread impacts in the main Hawaiian islands as Douglas makes its closest approach or moves through. So we don't want folks to dial into the exact forecast track, but understand that additional changes could still happen. Shifts to the north or shifts to the south. Remain prepared, you know, as we always say, prepare for the worst and hope for the best as Douglas approaches.